The first thing was the new dinosaur, the Carcharodontosaurus. I'm only mentioning this because it is technically canon, appearing anywhere the Giganotosaurus spawns, including story maps. That would be The Island, Extinction, and Genesis Part 2. To me, adding a new dinosaur would not be a retcon of the story. There were plenty of animals not mentioned in the canon story. I love the silly little fins. I'm not sure why they're there. This wasn't a dinosaur that was known to have those, so it's just funny. The video of the creature was filmed on Lost Island, and it just makes me wish that the island had buildings like that. The flags give me New Legion vibes, and I think it would be a nice touch to the environment. It has a dossier, and I wonder if that means it was written by Helena? And if that means you can find it somewhere. One line makes me doubt it was written by Helena, or at least canonically by Helena. While the wiki says it was written by her, I cannot find any other sources for that, so it might just be part of the template. Especially considering the wiki says the non-story map dossiers were written by Helena too. The first part is written from a first-person perspective of someone who encountered it. Just one of these bruisers held its own against an army of us, and that encounter cost us dearly. Helena never had an army. Unless this is from before the notes, or perhaps referring to the battle with the New Legion near the end, or sometime in extinction, I doubt this is her. Survival of the Fittest will be returning, now named the Survival of the Fittest. My main goal is to talk about how things fit into the story. I might not have mentioned this, except the HLNA robot was there. So, funny story. Although I don't generally condone random acts of violence against unsuspecting passerby, I ran across an abandoned simulation in the Genesis database that I found particularly bloodthirsty. I mean, fascinating. I've decided purely for academic research purposes, of course, to reboot that program and make it available to all in re-envisioned form. Let's take a sneak peek, shall we? And she said that survival of the fittest was an abandoned simulation that HLNA is rebooting. And I like that Wildcard is trying to explain it as part of the story. They did not have to, but they did. Also, this was Vin Diesel's idea, so now we can all respawn again. And finally, Dinosaur Discovery. I will be discussing the deep lore of this new game. Welcome, young explorer. My name is HLNA, and I'm going to be your teacher. You are so important, since you'll be among the first children to arrive at our new home. And you're about to join me in a Genesis simulation, designed to help you learn and grow. There are all kinds of Genesis simulations stored in the system's database. Survival training, education, even entertainment. A few of those sim programs got really weird though. Like that theme park, or that low-res cube world. Anyway, in this special training program, it's my duty to help you learn about your original homeworld, the Earth. In our adventures together, we're going to meet some of the creatures that lived there millions of years before your time. <laughs> yes, that includes dinosaurs. Loads of them. So without further ado, it's time to start exploring and see what's out there. Let's go! So it somewhat fits into canon. I had suspected that this was going to be a simulation, since educational simulations were mentioned in Genesis, and it is. Focusing on a group of kids being taught about dinosaurs by HLNA. These children are some of the first to arrive at the new home, and whether this means they have already arrived, or if this is just a pre-made message to reassure the kids that they won't be stuck on a spaceship for their entire lives, who knows? And honestly, I don't think it matters. It's just a fun way to connect this to the story. 
and I probably should not be using a kid's version of ARC to figure out what is happening in the lore. How is HLNA even there teaching it if she's busy in the Genesis simulation? How does the kids learn about dinosaurs before HLNA's creation? I wonder if the robot dragonfly from ARC Park would have been more canon. However, HLNA has become a very important character in ARC, and she already has a voice actor. And honestly, I'm just really excited to see her here. And I think this is just partially canon, or light canon, or soft canon, or whatever they call it these days. I personally love that these spin-off games are becoming connected to the story. It's fun, and it opens the door for other possibilities. When the lore of your game has a time when there are simulations for everything, there are a lot of possibilities. And I think this image is particularly interesting. It shows what a class might have been like in the future in Ark's world. And I have been wanting to see glimpses into what daily life might have been like during that time, after it was briefly mentioned in Genesis. And she confirms that Ark Park and Pixark are simulations. Pixark is now canon. Ark Park was already somewhat canon, with Sky's dream in that one note. However, now I am wondering if Sky was actually in the simulation, or if this was just a strange dream. And I personally doubt it would be possible to go from a failed simulation to an arc, but maybe this has something to do with the simulation failing, or with Aberration being broken, and somehow Arc Park Sky and Aberration Sky have shared memories. It probably isn't that deep, and we'll probably never know the answer, but it is interesting to think about. By the time this video is finished, it will probably be out, but they have shown some of it during the stream. It is supposed to be a simplified island. Each dinosaur unlocks a book. There's new art too, which I love. However, since this is supposed to be educational, this would have been the perfect opportunity to show a comparison between the real animal and the art creature. Especially since these are supposed to be fictional versions of the dinosaurs. It really doesn't make sense to me why they wouldn't show the real ones too. The sketches could have been of the real animal, and I'm a bit disappointed that they are not. There are a thousand artifacts to find, and I'm trying to remember if this model was used for anything else. And while I can't remember anything, it is entirely possible that I have forgotten. You can ride any rideable creature, and yes, apparently that includes the lead sixes, perhaps one of the best additions to the game. There will also be simplified building in the late game. The island is divided by walls based on time period. There's three, the Jurassic, Cretaceous, and Cenozoic time periods. There will be 64 creatures, and perhaps my second favorite part of this is the existence of car tires on the island.